Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name's Julie. I'm going to do a reading for you, Taurus, for the last half of October 2023. Let's get right into it, Taurus. How are you all doing? Thank you so much for stopping by. If you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. And just a reminder, this is a general tarot card reading for the sign of Taurus. Anywhere in your chart, really, or if you're just checking in on a Taurus, all are welcome here. It just might not resonate with everyone. But welcome, welcome, Taurus. Let's get you a moon oracle card. What's going on with Taurus, spirit? What does Taurus need to hear? Oh, my God. Expect powerful change. Ooh, something big coming in for you, Taurus. Something really big and exciting. Surrender to the divine, the full moon. Look at this. Time to let it go. Time to let all of that negativity go. Anything holding you back, it is time to let it go. Let's see what kind of animal spirit guide. Up in the ether for Taurus. What kind of animal spirit guide is walking with Taurus right now? Animal spirit guide for Taurus. I think it's a zebra. It is. Look at you changing your ideas, changing your mind, changing your heart here. Look at that beautiful third eye, Taurus. My God, are you psychic? You are so connected to the divine right now. That's what this powerful, powerful change coming into you. And surrender the doubt, surrender the worry, surrender the stress of it. Look at this with the bat. It is time to surrender the darkness. Give it to the light. Give it to the light so it can encompass it and uh, absorb it and rid you of it. Just give it to the divine. <coughs> Excuse me. Flying by different senses now, using different senses now. There's some kind of new spiritual gift that's come into you that you are really fine tuning now. You're tuning it up. Oh my God. And it comes directly from source. Wow. Wow. You are connected to a much higher power now. It's just you've been elevating up. You've been working on yourself, working on your psychic abilities, working on your skills here. And now it's a whole new ball game. It's a whole new leveling up. You have really um, uh, become the phoenix. Become the phoenix. I love that. I love that. Is there anything else in the Zen Tarot? I feel like something else. Yes, letting go. Same thing. Surrender it to the divine. Taurus, it's time to give up. Give up your need to control this. Give up your need to see the outcome. There are some surprises left in this life, and this is a big surprise for you. You've got to release the doubt and the fear of this. That is beautiful. I love this. I love this. Look at this portal. Look at these two portals here just opening up for you. And the master, oh my God, you really have elevated up. You are not the same. You have changed, Taurus. Changed to your very core. Changed everything that you thought was true. You surrendered to the divine here. This is a massive transformation. This is beautiful, Taurus. You're so strong. You're so strong. You know that you've been given this gift here. It's got to go to use. What are you thinking about right now? What are you thinking about? What's on Taurus's mind? Nine of Cups, look at this, a dream come true, the wish come true. Oh, Taurus, I'm so happy to see this for you. It's really, really a time for ease and flow for you now. It's time to get out of that doubt and fear and just the overwhelming dark energy. You've really, really been through it. But yeah, your dreams are coming true now. Your dreams are coming true. <coughs> Excuse me, oh, I'm fighting this upper respiratory, but... I'm on antibiotics and I'm feeling much better. Taurus, 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 what led up to this dream? What led up to this dream? The king of wands, you taking action, you not just thinking about it, not just planning it anymore, but moving into action. The king of wands is all about the action. Uh, leap, leap before you think here. And yeah, that brought in the dream because you just got going, just got going. Hopes and fears in the mind space for Taurus. What are the hopes and the fears? Any resistance, hopes, and fears? Nope, it's just this one. Nine of swords. Oh, God, Taurus. This is what you need to surrender to the divine. You had to go through that grieving process. You had to really say goodbye 
to the old you here. That's never, ever easy. It's like losing your best friend when you shed that persona, when you shed those beliefs, when you shed the things that uh, have been instilled in you. It's just a complete shedding, a complete shedding. Of course, you're going to grieve that. Of course, you're going to not want to say goodbye. But here you are. Here you are moving into this new era, this new dream of yours. <clears throat> oh, Taurus, I'm sending you such a big hug. I'm a Taurus sun. And I know what that nine of swords means in the mind space. You're just having to let go. You're having to let go of who you were and really get used to the idea of who you are now. Who am I after this? Uh, dark night of the soul look at this real going deep with the grief with letting go of people that I really really loved and you feel like that anchor is gone you feel like uh, you're just uh, it's a it's a whole different universe it's a whole different world after this massive grieving process but there's transformational grief and that's what this is that's why you're going through this massive transformation because of that transformational grief so Taurus it was all for purpose but my god my god is it difficult so let's see future future mind space oh I love these look at this the ace of cups and the king of cups Taurus Taurus your cup run is over here Yes, a brand new beginning in love, a brand new beginning in relationships here, new bonds, new contracts. Wow, 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 people treating you uh, <clears throat> accordingly here, absolutely accordingly. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, that's going to be the last of that, I promise. Unrequited love, you've been holding it back, you've been holding it to yourself, really taking care of yourself, nurturing yourself, understanding that you were going through the grieving process. I think that's where this action came in. You just kept thinking about, I just got to give myself time. I've got to process this. I need a minute. You took that time out wherever you could, slipping minutes within the day of meditation, connecting with the animals, connecting with nature here, and connecting with your own heart here. Really, really soothing, soothing, using these thoughts to soothe. Uh, thoughts like things will get better, thoughts like hang on, hang on, and that really, really uh, was like the balm on your open wound here. It really soothed. There wasn't another person on this earth with the King of Cups, this kind of island, this kind of self-soothing island here that could do that, that could do that. It came from your higher self. It came from these spiritual beings that were passing on, that were leaving this earth, and they just could then really wrap you in their energy here, really wrap you in their love, show you, have you feel, have you know that they're still here. So, oh God, do I love this. I love this. Just reconnecting to yourself here. What are you feeling about this? What are you feeling about this? Like you've been waiting a very long time with the Four of Cups. You've been bankrupt in the heart. You've been uh, really grasping, grasping at straws, grasping at hope, grasping at the dreams here, the dream. What do I really want here? What am I going for here? What now? What now? And that just really opened up the portal here so the energy could really uh, reciprocate with you now Taurus so yeah here comes that miracle here comes that fourth cup carrying this wish there's a massive wish here something that uh, you have prayed for wanted really really wished for worked really really hard for and it's coming in it's coming in oh god do I love that what led up to this? The magician, look at this Taurus, the number one in the major arcana. What we think about comes about. There's nothing else that matters. What we think about comes about. This is our reaction to the externals. It's not the externals themselves. Things will get thrown at us the rest of our lives, but it's how we react to them, how we uh, uh, can detach in that moment from those hyper reactions here and how we're not apathetic either. We're not um, ignoring it. We're not in denial here. So there's always a period of denial here, not in denial and not overreacting, really, really tempering your reactions here. Uh, that's what led up to this wish. You're ready now. You're ready to receive now. You're, you're stable enough. You're secure enough. Uh, you are... Um, Heal, healed, healed enough. 
<laughs> oh, I love this. I love this. Oh, I forgot this big adventure you're going on with the Knight of Wands here, stepping out into something new, stepping out into a completely, like I said, it's like you're living in the upside down now. Things are just not the same. You're not surrounded by the same people. And if you are, they have had to massively change with you. If they didn't, then they fell away somehow, some way. So I think you're mourning all kinds of relationships, those that have passed on and those that are still here, but those connections are completely rewired now, completely different. You don't trust the same people. You don't fall into the same crowd any longer. You don't feel at home in the same crowd. It's like going to the high school reunion and feeling like an alien. Like, I don't remember any of you. <laughs> Are you sure it was this school? <laughs> Look at this. There's that balance with temperance, uh, uh, Sagittarius energy. You really had to gain some balance. It was like you were on a roller coaster with the ups and downs and with the um, turbulence, a lot of turbulence. Oh God, you were juggling so many things. Just taking care of a lot of people, a lot of situations, a lot of things, took a lot on your shoulders, and it was all in the name of love. Taurus, everything you did was in the name of love. Even all of this grieving was in the name of love here. So you're just that compassionate. You're just that... <sighs> You're just that wonderful. You're just truly an earth angel here. Whoever I'm speaking to, you are truly an earth angel here. <laughs> have a lot, a lot of soul connections uh, that you've been really keeping together. You have been the glue. You have been the glue in multiple, multiple situations here. So my God, my God. But when you love that hard, you do grieve that hard. They cannot go they, they, they cannot go their separate ways. They go hand in hand. This intense kind of love that you carry uh, brings intense kind of grief because there's the losing part of it. And oh, God, did that hurt you. It just really knocked you down to your knees. But look at this transformation. Look at this understanding. Look at the signs around you. Spirit is here. And you have really uh, gathered, gathered a cadre of spirit around you because of the connections you made, because you've loved so hard. Beautiful, beautiful. What's in the foundation? What is the foundation for Taurus? What is the foundation here right now? Right now, current situation for Taurus. Look at this, the seven of pentacles, just that hard work, but that feeling of regret, the feeling of maybe time wasted, or I've spent too long on this, or uh, it's Groundhog Day. I want something to change, but yet I'm so fearful of change because I've had to change and change and change. So I'm very, very fearful of that. But I have kind of worked myself into a corner here where I have uh, um, focus, focus, and kind of hyper focus, so. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's just so hard at work, but uh, no regrets, no regrets at that hard work. It really was a great distraction when you needed it. You have to remember that, that you used work, you used your um, talent here to distract yourself from some really hard, hard grief here. And the, Taurus, that's what everyone does. That's what every single one of us does when we fall into the shock and awe, it's like, oh my God, what? That, that kick to the gut, that that uh, awareness that death is here uh, and people can be taken from us. So you came into that, you came into this awareness and you just started mourning, you started grieving. And when we fall into grieving mode, that is really, really, really when it pours down, when it rains, it pours and it happens to us all at once. And so you're so fearful to relax. You're so fearful to let your guard down when it starts to stop, when it starts to taper off and you start transforming that energy, you start uh, using that grieving uh, energy as your transformation here. Uh, it takes some time, but the momentum is gaining with you. You are on this quest now to use it as your transformation. And so now nothing can stop it. Nothing can stop it. You are absolutely transforming right now. Beautiful, beautiful. That's why I was seeing this phoenix rising. And just let it go. Just let it go now. Don't try to figure anything out now. Don't try to uh, understand why you're feeling the way you're feeling. You've got to just keep moving forward into your determination. Use this distraction that you have been using and work toward this beautiful, beautiful dream of yours. This is your dream. This is your wish, Taurus. This is not 
uh, interfering with anyone else's karma before when you were praying that um, this miracle could come in, this hand of God could come in. It was asking on maybe on someone else's behalf, someone else's behalf. It, it's just this need to keep someone near you, this need to um, um, have them there. You're not done with that relationship yet. You're not closed with that yet. So there's always this need to just uh, have this closure. And um, that just kept you, kept you in the waiting room here. Here comes that sign. Here comes that miracle for you, Taurus. It's the other side of it, but it is for you. This is your wish. This is not imposing uh, on anyone else's karma because, of course, we all have our own journey. And if somebody's ready to go, there's not a prayer in the world. There's not a moon potion in the world. I can promise you that because I've tried it. <laughs> that will keep them here when they have their own will, of course. And you wouldn't want it any other way. You wouldn't want anyone interfering with, interfering with yours there. So it's just such a, a, a horrible dynamic because it just leads to this massive disappointment that miracles don't happen. And why me? Because you do see them happen to other people. You do see that miracles do happen. But you just think, well, then why have you forsaken me? What did I do? And it has nothing to do with that. It's all part of this massive transformation to move into the magician energy here. Move on your own adventure here. Move on your own uh, experiences here. Four of Pentacles, you've been waiting a very long time, Taurus. It's been much too long of a wait for you. You've got to get up out of that waiting room, waiting for things to change before you're going to be happy, waiting for things to change before you go that dream of yours. I'm taking care of this, so I really can't do that right now. <coughs> Excuse me. You've got to let that go. You've got to really, really release that to the divine. The divine has this. Even while you're at work or while you're distracting yourself, there's so much divine energy coming through those hands of yours, Taurus, through your mind, through your body here. You're really being guided by spirit. Very, very powerful connection to spirit right now. We're coming to the end of October. Uh, Samhain is here. The, the, the energy uh, uh, veil is very, very, very thin, but you're so psychic. You've been tapping into this source energy, to this God energy for quite some time when, and you've been accepted into the master's club now you are a master at this because of the grief you went through so wow wow but you've got to get out of that waiting room got to get out of that waiting room was that the sun it was look at that Taurus yes 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 hopes and fears here comes the sun here comes the sun to really blind you now you've been in the dark for so long this is going to just seem blinding it's going to seem brilliant especially with the source and i see this bright bright sun here <laughs> my god my god you're going to be taken aback when this comes in there's some dream there's some wish there's some hope that something is going to happen good to you here that the you're going to see the other side of the darkness well here it comes here comes the sun taurus yes yes i can't wait to see <laughs> what this miracle is there's something big it's for you too it's so it's making me emotional because it's just like that Christmas gift you wished for when you were five. And there was always these different versions of it throughout your life. People trying to make up for it when you didn't get it then. Maybe it didn't even exist, but you just had this knowing of what you wanted. And then, you know, at 60, here comes that gift. Here comes Santa Claus somehow, some way with the exact thing you wanted you think, dang, why did it take 60 years? But you had to live all these experiences. You had to understand um, what you wanted, what you wanted. Oh, God, Taurus, do I love this. Future foundation, future foundation for Taurus. <laughs> yes, yes, the big move out, the big move out of the dark house, the big move out of the haunted house. I'm not living there anymore. I'm not doing that anymore. <laughs> just shoving those monsters right back under the bed you can live there forever i don't care as long as you don't interfere with me just leave me alone and you can live under my bed forever <laughs> because you've accepted the dark now you haven't pushed it away you haven't denied you really stepped into your own here with this uh, uh transformational um grieving yeah oh my god oh my god something really big makes you so happy so happy Spirit, what's your advice for Taurus in the foundation? What's your advice? What's your advice for Taurus? 
seven of wands. Look at these two sevens. Lucky number seven is coming in for you, Taurus. But it is time to put the guard down. It is time to allow people in again. I know it's scary because when you love, you love so hard. You go all in. You, you are truly, truly an investor in people. You really, really are. And um, you just got scared. You got scared. You weren't depositing anymore. You weren't um, investing because it hurt so bad when the investment failed or when the uh, investment just poof, disappear, it seemed like to you. And um, so you're very much, very much on guard and uh, careful of who you're investing in. But there's nothing wrong with that. There is nothing wrong with that. You have really loved hard throughout your life. You've really touched people, touched people on a daily basis, people you don't even realize, a smile, a, a touch, a, a look, a knowing look. You really, you go deep with the energy and people can feel you. You can absolutely feel you. Look at this queen of wands on the bottom of the deck. There you are stepping up, taking the award. I accept, I accept this wish because you know what you've been through and you know it's time to go toward the light. You know it's time to go toward the hope again and the investments again. The, the soulmate energy is not going anywhere. It's just right smack dab in your heart space here, Taurus. So yeah, 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 beautiful, beautiful. God, you're such a, a beautiful giver, beautiful giver of your heart. Yeah. Oh, God, are you beautiful. Let's see what this wish is. What's this wish for Taurus? What is that all about? Nine of wands, six of wands, and three of swords. Oh, my God, Taurus, it's time to move away from the grief. It is time to leave it behind now. You've grieved for far too long now. It's time to focus on your wants, your journey, your path to have here. And you are moving on from troubled waters. You are heading toward the light now. You're asking questions of how do I get to the light now? How do I feel better now? How do I move on? How do I disconnect here? Those are the right, right questions. Spirit is showing you all kinds of distractions here that will help you navigate through the dark there. So, boy, you are this close. You are so close. Expect this powerful change. You have brought it on. You have wished it on. It's yours to have. It is yours to have. Nine of Wands. Look at this. It's just been hard to get through. The, a, a lot of things were put in your way. A lot of obstacles put in your way. A lot of trip ups and, and big falls and... Uh, just all kinds of things, all kinds of issues put in your path for a minute. Taurus, I know spirit just knew how strong you are, that if anyone can do it, you can do it. And they just, boy, 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 I'm just uh, in awe of your strength here. Absolutely in awe of your strength here. You are moving on, moving on. Tell me about this miracle. Why is the four of cups and the magician here? Queen of Cups. You got the Queen of Cups, the King of Cups, the Ace of Cups. This is all about your heart, all about your feelings and emotions, your reactions to things. This is all about your reactions to things. You have completely changed. You have taken off that old Taurus uh, suit and you are brand new. It's like you are just returned to innocence for you after this massive, massive grieving cycle here. It's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. Two of Cups. It's all about the heart. It's all about love. It's all about love. That's what life is all about. And um, it's the other side. It's the other side of grief. It's the other side of grief. Just like grief is the other side of love. Love is the other side of grief here, Taurus. So this is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. Reconnecting with uh, yourself here, with your uh, emotions. Yeah, this is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Tell me about temperance, this balance, this balance. I can see you absolutely have a lot going on. You are very, very busy, very, very busy. But everywhere you go, every face that looks upon you, Taurus, they're changed in some way. They can feel you. You're this beacon, this beacon of healing. Because of the way you've healed yourself, because of the way you've used the grief to... Uh, just mend up, mend up any of those raw open wounds here. It's just, it's so touching for other people. They can feel you. They can feel you a mile away. <laughs> the tourist scent. <laughs> what is that all about? Knight of Swords. Wow, some kind of truth coming in. Some kind of truth. Some kind of 
uh, uh, knowing of yours. You get proof. You get proof some way, somehow, some way. Spirit is really around you strong. Taurus, you can connect whenever you want to. So yeah, you're asking the right questions in your meditation, meditating a lot, finding that five minutes to just shut your eyes or just zone out on something. It's really glorious. You're really taking the time to connect to spirit and it's just, you so connected right now, just so beautifully connected. It's just, uh, uh, it's glorious. It's glorious. I'm just seeing this all kinds of light, uh, 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 beings just all around you. It's just absolutely glorious. Let's take a look at this kind of regret. What is Taurus regretting here? Let's see. Let's see. Let's take a look at the seven of pentacles. And when it comes to money, six of swords, there's just always been those obstacles, always those uh, big expense come in. You finally, you gained two steps forward. It was four steps back. It was just, you were, every time you tried to make progress, you were taken back so far that it seemed like, oh my God, I shouldn't have got out of bed at all. Shouldn't have even touched that. <laughs> it's like you go to touch something and it just crumbles all away in front of you and everyone's like, what did you do? <laughs> and you're just like, I give up. I give up. I'm not touching a thing. I am not touching a thing. So that's why you just, um, you just these questions of why, why, why did that happen? Why did that have to happen that way? And I don't know if we ever get those answers, but we do build our character on those moments. We do build, we know exactly what we're capable of. We know exactly what we can go through. We know exactly um, how strong we are. It just shows us absolutely how strong we really are. Eight of wands, very fast moving. There's something fast coming to you, something um, very rewarding come to you. It's a wish come true. It's a wish come true. It's finally your miracle. It's finally, it's finally your time. Step up to the mic, Taurus, and say your speech because it's finally finally your turn in the light to just bask in the light and it won't matter what's going on around you the externals absolutely will not matter because you are uh, gloriously basking in spirit's light right now and it is so deserved use this as your epsom salt bath this energy this very protective loving glorious energy that is coming to you and uh, they're just these huge, you have these huge wings behind you. You truly are an earth angel. Whoever is listening to this, you are an earth angel. And you've been put through something here. You've been absolutely tested because you were kind of the chosen one in this moving forward from the grief. The whole world has gone through this massive grieving uh, uh, cycle here, no matter what they've lost. Their lives are different. All of our lives are different. There's a a pre-COVID and a post-COVID, and I don't care who you are in the world, there's a before and after things have changed. Well, you have been dealing with this kind of energy for way longer than the last three years. This has gone on quite some time with you. So by the time that hit, by the time the world was sent to their corners here, uh, you were moving strongly through that. You worked very, very strongly through that. You knew you used it as your distraction. You threw yourself into work through that. So absolutely ahead of the pack, the leading edge here, the leading edge of walking out of the dark, walking beyond the grief, into the light, into the hope, planting the seeds of hope. It's harvest time. You planted those seeds long ago. So here we go. Here we go right into the next cycle with the world and the sun here. Absolutely beautiful. Any last advice for Taurus here, spirit? Tell me about Taurus in the foundation. Four of swords. Wow. All these fours, all of these celebration times, these down on your knees in gratitude. Now, no longer down on your knees in pain. Why God have you forsaken me? Now you're down on your knees. You've got your magic in your hand. You've got your sword of truth in your hand. And it's just like, you know what spirit? I'm grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's a whole new, um, reaction from you, a whole new reaction and justice. Look at this on the bottom of the deck. This was karmic. This was a massive karmic cycle for you. And you are shifting toward the light. Now you are running toward this light. Now the source, the source, you are absolutely uh, channeling source at this time and forevermore after the journey you've been on. Wow. 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 Taurus. I love this. I love this. If you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons, Taurus. I hope you have a fantastical end of the month, and I will definitely tune in with you soon.